out. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Dance a fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. I think we can get down here. I do, I think so. We were hiking into the Spokane River. Gotta watch out for a poison ivy through here. But that's where we're hoping to get to, is down off that little point. Made it. It's a cool looking place. Hope we can get a few fish. This is like super deep water. Yeah, it's good looking water. Yeah. No doubt. Oh, fish. Nice. Fish. All right. Wow. Good one? Yeah. Woo. That's good news. Yeah. It's gone. Shoot. Well, it wasn't as big as I thought. How big do you think? Uh, maybe, I don't know, 20, 22 inches. <laughs> or 12. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get another one. That's a good sign. Yeah. My balance. Fish. Fish. Loud and fish. Oh, wow, Steve. Feels cool. like a good one. Yeah, it looks like a really good one. Wow. Really took out some line. Woo, he's going under the rocks. That looks like a beautiful red band. Should have brought a longer net for this area. Took the caddis. Nice. That is a really nice rainbow. Took the caddis nymph. Gosh, what do you think? 14, 15 inches, something like that. We catch and release anyway, but uh, definitely these are uh, ones that you want to catch and release by regulations here on the Spokane River, so. Yeah, maybe more than 16. Wow, on the caddis nymph, so it's a good discovery. Ladin had one on a little smaller earlier. That's a nice fish out in this beautiful current out here, so hopefully that's the ticket and we can catch some more. The setup I used to catch that fish is a standard nine foot five weight fly rod floating line and then an indicator and under the indicator we have these two nymphs. This is a prince nymph, a good kind of a tractor nymph and then followed by this uh, caddis nymph and the fish took the caddis. This is poison ivy right here. You can tell by the berries. It's pretty common along the Spokane River so watch out for it when you're fishing the Spokane. Uh, things that give it away are the white berries and then the sets of uh, three leaves together. Uh, give you a good idea to stay away from anything like that because it can be uh, really itchy if you get it on your skin. Ouch! Ah, barbels hooks. Always important. <laughs> Woo! Ouch. Fish. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, jumper. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Whoa, another jumper. Big jumper, huh? Yeah. Tell you, it's a pretty nice place to fight a fish because there, uh, there's a good slow, slack water area here. Woo. I better tighten my drag just a little bit. The fish is putting up quite a fight. It's 
getting ready. These good fighting fish, but I love this spot to fight them. Except for, uh, I wish I had a little bit longer net going over this cliff, we'll see. Not as big as the last one, but nice fish and a jumper, I love that. Yes, got him. Good fish. Nice trout. Yeah, maybe 11 even, huh? Nice, just uh, not quite as big a fish, but just a couple of casts after the last one. So they're certainly active right now on these caddis nymphs. We've seen a few caddis flying around and that's why we put the caddis nymph on. It's working, let's get some more. We chose today to fish the Spokane River because it's a nice cloudy day and we think that'll help the fishing especially since it's been sunny and 90 degrees the previous couple weeks. So far, it's panning out. Panning out! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, another big rainbow. Holy smokes! I just had a big rainbow on it, I think. Really? Yeah, I do. Wow. Just waited, I felt the head shake. Wow. I hope I didn't break it. How deep are you again now, can I? God got it! Took your nymph? Yes! Ugh. Shoot! Ah! Boulder. Uh-oh. Ah! Fish. All right. Shoot. <laughs> Golly. What? Fish on. Fish. Steve hooked into another beautiful Spokane rainbow. He stripped his line to keep pressure on the fish. When he had the fish near, he grabbed his net. Oh, I don't know if the secret was getting a little deeper, but that's what I did this last time. Went down like 13 feet instead of the nine or 10 we were doing earlier. Ah, he took the, it's kind of a stone fly woolly bugger combo that he took. All right, nice fish. What I missed was felt a little bit bigger, but boy, I really like the way this thing jumped. Ah, pretty cool. That's a long drought. <laughs> uh, ended for me, so I'm happy about that. Missed one just before that. Laden has had a rough day. I don't know how many fish he's missed, but uh, it's nice to finally get on the board again, so hopefully Laden will too before the end of the day here. No worries, Steve. There's no way to keep a great fisherman down. Well, Fish. Nice. I don't know how big it is. Ah! Amazingly, I still have it on. <laughs> uh, it's about eight inches. It's about eight inches, but I don't care. Ah! Sucker. Fishing all day for trout. Lost a couple beauties. I caught an eight inch sucker. Got away, <laughs> it was a trout. I mean, it was a trout. What? Yeah, turned into a it trout. It was a trout? Yeah, it turned into one. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, since nobody saw it. Eight inch trout? <laughs> yeah. It was actually. Or was it bigger? Yeah, it was about a, probably about a, six, seven inch sucker fish, actually. <laughs> oh, well, I'll keep plugging. Yep. This was day 10 of the 2021 season. We got approximately 14 minutes and 20 seconds of show footage. The total for the season is eight shows in the can with help from an added segment. <laughs>